whisper on a scream doesn't change a thing, doesn't bring you back. It's really hard to believe that it's been 25 years since we recorded and released Trouble Is. I mean, I was just a teenager on the heels of my first album and the success that that album brought. There was a really crazy series of events that all happened in order for us to record and release Trouble Is as a record. Nothing about my situation is normal. I was a kid. It was a father-son run organization and he's not the lead singer in the beginning and all of these things it's just like not normal trying to find a band uh, a group of musicians that's willing to surround a 15 year old guitar player that doesn't sing that wants to play blues my dad helped me find the people to put this band together i mean we've done this whole thing together from day one and we're still together doing it today it's a family-run operation everybody that comes through our business everybody that comes through the band everybody that works with us they become members of the family well the, the trouble is record that we did was kind of a it was a unique project in the context i think of all of kenny's work and it was actually noah hunt's first record I saw an opportunity where the band was going to be out on the West Coast and we had some days off and you know I thought hey this is a great opportunity let's seize the moment let's go in the studio and record something. We thought it would be a really great idea to kind of get the gang back together. So we got Jerry Harrison who produced the Trouble Is album. We got Chris Layton on drums who you know, played drums on the original record, Noah, myself, Jeff Aldrich, who was my A&R guy back in the day, Bill Fordresser, who was part of the team and has been forever. Some of the guys that worked at the record company that I was at, uh, they all came down and it became like old home week in the studio. It's been a really exciting experience, kind of going down memory lane and revisiting these songs and you know all the memories that come up of when we cut that song and what happened when we did that. Do you remember this? And do you remember playing that? It's just been really cool. It's kind of been good for everybody's heart, I think, and everybody's spirit. We're having a great time. And music, I mean, I feel like that's what making music is all about.